here on Learning University T-shirts soon to follow. And uh, we haven't patented that name or trademarked it yet, but uh, don't go stealing it from us. Okay? (laughs) We're doing it right now. Poor man's patent. Look at the calendar. It's January the 3rd, and we're saying it on national radio. Learning University is going to be our logo. And we're getting those T-shirts made up for us uh, right now. JJ, who we got up first? We're going to Oklahoma where Mike's on the line, Bartlesville. Hi, Mike. Hi, guys. You got any New Year's resolutions, setting any goals for 2014? Oh, got to get back into training for bike riding. Good good for you. Hey, you 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 want to – You a cowboy or a boomer sooner? Uh, I'm uh, I'm a cowboy, but uh, boy, didn't the Sooners do a number on them. Yeah, I was just going to congratulate you if you were a Sooner fan because they they won the Sugar Bowl last night. Mm-hmm. Beat, a, beat a very good Alabama team, but that was, but they they were uh, the Sooners were on their game last night. But anyway, oh, Mike, uh, that doesn't mean anything to you as a Cowboy, uh, Oklahoma State Cowboy. That game's tonight. Yeah, there. That's right. That's right. Uh, what what do you got for us, brother? You want to ask or answer or both? Yeah, let's just, let's try both here. Okay, well, go ahead and answer. I'm going to try the uh, states that border the Gulf. All right, how many U.S. states border the Gulf of Mexico? I'm going to say five. I'm going to say you're absolutely right. All right. Ding, 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 well, ding, give, ding, them, ding. give them to us, Mike. Way to go, Mike. Give them to us. Well, starting from the west, there'd be Texas. Then there'd be Louisiana. Yes. And then uh, lower part of Mississippi. Right. Lower part of Alabama. Right. And then Florida. That's you got it. it. There you, you go. It. You know, uh, uh, when I went to college at Mississippi State, and uh, I had a friend uh, I met the first day down there, and he told me he was from L.A., Mike. And I said, really? He said, yep, lower Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you, see, you said the lower part of Alabama. That made me think of that, uh, L.A. But anyway, what's your question for us? Okay, question for you guys is uh, – what is the fastest land animal of North America? Of North America. Now we want to land animal. Fast. Remember yeah. that's key. We he said land animal. Cheetah, I'm a, but that's not going to be North America. You're right. A cheetah's not in North America. So then we're going to have to we're going to have to go maybe to the greyhound dog. Or what do you think? Uh-huh. Discussing among give us a second to uh, to talk amongst yeah. ourselves here, Mike. I'm thinking you... antelope. Antelope in I, I, where's an antelope in North America? Are they in Canada or somewhere? The antelopes are out in the Midwest and. Uh, and the, the, you're right because that's where they roam, right? Right. On the song, where the yes, where deer the deer and the antelope, antelope play. I, I think a greyhound play, dog play. Could, could put a whooping but, on a antelope. But hold on a second, we're stuck in this song here, Rich Smith. <laughs> but buffalo roam, right, Jim? Buffalo roam, and antelope and deer play. They, they play. Yes. So antelope would be that was written by North Americans. So right. Just because I haven't personally seen an antelope out in the wild doesn't mean they don't exist. That's right. Right. In North America. Anyway, JJ, what, let's go. <laughs> I, I want to go with greyhound. Go greyhound but whatever you guys. No, say. we're gonna go greyhound dog. What, what do you got for us? Okay, uh, proghorn antelope. Now. What? I'm sorry. Uh, what? Bring it. What? Bring wow. it right here. Jim I'm Stanley. Jim Stanley. That's what, Jim was right. Antelope. Okay, thank we, you. My I time here it. is done. <laughs> <laughs> we da- Jim, congratulations on your antelope knowledge, my friend. Now, where, where, do these, where do these antelopes live here? I, I believe probably out in um, uh, far north uh, eastern New Mexico. Have you, ever seen one per- have you ever seen one personally? Wyoming. I've seen them, but I've not seen any in high gear. We, you know, my, they mostly just play, don't they? <laughs> That's right. Uh, they, they frolic. <laughs> yeah. Maddie and I were in Colorado last summer, and we saw antelope. You did we saw, antelope? We All saw right. quite a few. So an antelope can outrun a greyhound, but they, but, they don't, but they don't race. So we, we'll never know, really. No, they're, not, they're not a racing uh, yeah. animal, but uh, that, that, anyway, that's what All I right. uh, that's what I've heard that they can out. I'd like to see some in high gear. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'd when be you're fun. concerned about getting eaten, there's a lot of things you can do. <laughs> hey, that Mike, you didn't think you hey, could Mike, do. I meant to say goodbye to you before I cut you off, so my apologies. I clicked the uh, clicked the screen too quick. But thanks, Mike, my friend from Bartlesville. It is Bartlesville, Bartlesville, Oklahoma, Oklahoma for calling in. Trivia Friday on American Family Radio. Tim with Jim and JJ. We try to keep the name simple here on uh, Trivia Friday for you. What do you got, JJ? David from Albany, Georgia. Happy New Year, David. Happy New Year to you guys. How y'all doing this morning? We're blessed. It's hey, all good. Do you want to ask, answer, or do both? I want to do both. Which one are you confident about? Which question uh, you want to attempt? Stretch your brain. The planets. 
Here before. we go. What's your question? Only one planet is not named after a god. Which one? That would be Earth. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. Earth. Way to go, Earth. David. And uh, uh, But Earth was made by the real god. Amen. But yeah, now all the planets were, but uh, I thought I'd just, yeah. you know, that sounded pretty clever right there. <laughs> good, <laughs> I good. I came up with it off the top of my head. Good. Yeah, well, you're welcome. Hey, David, well, you have a question for us? I, I most certainly do, and uh, good luck. Do you, by the way, do you capitalize Earth or not? I, I can't get a definitive answer on this one. You when, you, when you write it in a sentence, do you capitalize Earth or not? Yeah. You do, David? Okay. Yeah, I do. I do. Well, I've heard others say, you know, no. And I just... Um, I, well, I don't know well, why. Why would you not? Well, Earth is a proper name, isn't right. it? Right. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I just... Okay. That, uh, but, that would but, be... I but, would ask, why would I not? Well, maybe somebody who's an English professor can give us an answer. But David, you would, so that's really all that matters that's to it. us. Yeah, that, so, that's right. So, <laughs> <laughs> you go right um, ahead. Fire away, brother. Uh, Fire away. Mighty Mouse. The Mighty Mouse cartoon. Yes. He had a girlfriend. Uh-huh. What What was her name? Mighty Mouse. Ma- go ahead. He actually had two girlfriends, one in the comic book and one in the cartoon show. You can give me either. Hey, wow. Did they, so he was did, a did, player. Did, 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 yeah, did either of them know about the other one? <laughs> That's right. Uh, I, I, I'm not certain. If they knew, would it, that uh, would explain why he was flying from place to place. That's, 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 yeah. That wasn't a good example for children. I'll no. tell you right there. If he, if you got Mighty Mouse out there two timing, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Well, Nobody with me here? He, he had, well, he I'm, I'm sorry. I'm in the comic book. <laughs> and then when he got on TV, he had another girlfriend. So I've I got nothing. Now, I'm thinking, he had a girl, what you was got, his girlfriend's you got, name, you JJ? Got, uh, you got Olive Oil. You got Minnie Mouse. But now on Mighty Mouse, uh, no girlfriends Mouse. pop is coming to mind. I'm, I'm going to say, um, uh, I don't know, Queen Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. We didn't watch enough Mighty Mouse, evidently. What is it, um, David? It, it was Sacagawea. Oh, oh, oh nice oh, play. play. <laughs> well, said, hey, we didn't see that coming. No. <laughs> well done. You brought I you Sacagawea broadsided <laughs> us right. right there. Yeah, we got T-boned by Sacagawea. 20 minutes into the program, That's good. we Sacagawea. Um, his his yeah. girlfriend in the comic book's name was Mitzi. 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 Mitzi, Mitzi. Mitzi the mouse? Girlfriend, Mitzi mouse, yes. Okay, Mitzi mouse. Um, and his girlfriend in the in the cartoon show was Pearl Pureheart. I dated a girl named Pearl Pureheart. Uh, <laughs> anyway, did Allison know about this? This was prior to my <laughs> dating days with Allison. Hey, anyway. hey, David, thank you. God bless you. Have a happy New Year. I was uh, not. Thank you, and y'all have a blessed you, New Year as too. well. Bye bye. I was not two time in gym. No. What, what you're suggesting here? Not at all, sir. You said it was prior to. It was prior to. Uh, what you got, JJ? What three questions you got? Oh, no, here's what I've got. The Western gunfighter Doc Holliday was what kind of doctor? Second he was a question, real doctor. Real doctor. Yes. Okay. Second question. Until he was 20 years old, author John Grisham had a dream of making a living playing what sport? Then I had one answered, so if I can add one. As referenced in the Gettysburg Address, how long is four score and seven years? How long is four score and seven How long is four score and seven years? Nobody We've heard it our that, whole life. Yeah, nobody uses that terminology anymore. I think I know that one. And how many of them are bordering the Gulf of Mexico? Oh, no, wait. That's, <laughs> that's a that combination been answered. of things. That's already yeah. been answered. That's been answered. All right. I'm going to add one as I had one answered. Who holds the NFL record for the most touchdowns in a season? And then I've also got somewhere right here nearby. Um, nope. That was the one that was answered. Tim? All right. My turn? Yes. Here are my questions. What is the Pink Panther in the Peter Sellers movies with that name. Number two, what is the actual Pink Panther? What's it talking about? Number two, how were Theodore and Franklin Roosevelt related? And I want specifics. <laughs> did, I, did I say Pacifics or specifics? You said specifics. You're in good shape. If I was Uncle Si, I'd be saying Pacifics. Right. <laughs> right. I, but I'm, I'm, I said specifics. I want specifics on how were Theodore and Franklin Roosevelt related. Num- right. Number three, did you come back to your question? Go ahead, finish yours. Okay, sir. My, my third question is, 
think back now. This is a household name for a movie, so you'll know this. What movie character said this? Uh, no, what movie character was afraid, alone, and three million light years from home? Somebody trying to use Obamacare <laughs> right in the emergency room. <laughs> Duly noted, wow. Mr. Jasper, the there gentleman from Ken- Owensboro, Kentucky. You've been recognized here on the program. <laughs> Tim, uh, what do you got over there, Jim? Well, I was going to say, my comment about your glasses earlier has yes. already come back to bite me. Yes. Uh, you have trouble seeing stuff far away. Yes, I have I do. T- trouble seeing stuff very Close near. up. So what Oscar-winning song was introduced in the film, Thank God It's Friday? And then my other question was that simply, never be answered. what Go animals do you anyway. find in the stock market? What was the question about uh, Broadway? What? Uh, right here it says, what Oscar-winning song was introduced in the film, Thank God It's Friday? Well, would I recognize it? Mm-hmm. Oh, you would? Okay. Good. All right, Trivia Friday, American Family Radio, Tim, JJ, Jim. Taking your phone calls at 888-589-8840. Sound like an auctioneer, don't I? But wait, well. there's more. 888-589-8840. 888-589-8840. I'm getting pretty fast with that. Maybe I need to be Going an, once, maybe going I, twice, Maybe I need sold. to be an auctioneer. <laughs> um, I hate to be, could you be an auctioneer and stutter at the same time, though? No one would know. Does somebody do that? Yeah, was they, Mel Tillis an auctioneer? That's my hey, question. No, um, That's my trivia hmm. question. J.J., who we got next? Jordan from Port Bryan, Illinois. Hello, Jordan. Hello. Port Byron, Illinois, Jordan? Uh, yes. Hey, brother. Where's Port Byron? Uh, in, um, in Illinois, um, I'm over in a uh, Fox Point Circle. Like what town are you near? What big town? Bigger, larger uh, town? Rapid City. Rapid City, uh, Illinois? Yes. Okay. All right. We want to ask or answer or both? I'll do both, please. Well, you uh, go ahead and answer. Which one do you want to tackle here? Um, I'll turn my best to answer any of them. Well, you just go right you ahead, You tell brother. us which one. You show that yeah. IQ. Um, I think I'll go for the one about Pink Panther. Okay, well, the question is, what is the Pink Panther in the Peter Sellers movies with that name? I think I'm going to get What is it? What's it, the theme? You mean the, well, that was the, that was the theme for Pink Panther that I was, uh, uh, hum- humming there, was I humming? Really wasn't humming. I was sort of hum. You were hum singing. Da-dun, da-dun. But anyway, but I want to know what is it? What is the actual Pink Panther? You're, you're saying it's the theme. Yeah. Okay, um, that would be incorrect. But that's a very good guess. Uh, and but what's your question for us? Um, in the book of Job, um, what was Job's three friends? name who comforted him in the book of job what was the three three friends the three com- friends that comforted job what, and, were, what were their you, names use the word comfort loosely there but uh wow well, I, they, yeah were, they weren't very much comfort really s- s- no not much one better than the others but i'm the names escape me uh, the scam, names escape JJ. Jim, what do you say? Well, I can tell you, it wasn't Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No, although those were three. And it names. wasn't those. Ham, Shep, and Jacob. Right. Uh, right. No, it wasn't no. them. I, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, we don't know. What is it? What's the answer, uh, Jordan? The answer is Eliphaz, um, the termite. Ter- termite. What'd you say? That termite. Hamanite? Yes. Okay. And What's the third one? Bill Dad. Bill Dad the Shuad. Okay. And Bill Dad the Shuite. All right. And so far, the Namathite. Thank you, Jordan, and thanks for listening to AFR. Have a great new year. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bye-bye. Jordan. What's it, now, that, uh, that you, you say, they, they sort of, they, 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 did they, did they, they mean they, well? They, they did. They came and they sat with Job, and for a little bit, they sat there. 
It's one. They didn't really offer a lot of comfort. They said, surely your sin is what brought this on you. Yeah, uh, and they, they, offered, they were not the best. You didn't want them at your bedside if you were sick. Yeah, they bad, bad bedside manner. Yeah, yeah. You, the reason you're sick is because you've sinned. You know, the reason all this has come upon Which you. Which wasn't true. No. Correct. And they said, you know what? Why don't you just go ahead and confess and admit what you did and just uh, uh, confess it to God and get it over with so you can, you know, so you be restored. Kind of, it's kind of a lesson for us, isn't it? All, you know, all those years.